The goal of this procedure is to label a peptide and a protein with the radionuclide fluorine 18 using silicon fluoride acceptor compounds, hereafter referred to as CFAS. Once this is achieved, the labeled protein is analyzed in vivo with small animal positron emission tomography. This is accomplished by first separating the fluoride-18 anions from an aqueous solution. Next, the anion solution is used to label both the peptide and the protein, in one and two steps respectively. Finally, the labeled protein is injected into a healthy rat to visualize its biodistribution in vivo during a positron emission tomography scan. Positron emission tomography, or PET, is a non-invasive imaging technique that relies on radio tracers, which emit positrons from radionuclides that are incorporated into biologically active molecules. An emitted positron annihilates with an electron to produce two gamma rays traveling in opposite directions, which are detected by the PET scanner. Fluorine-18 is the most common radionuclide used in PET due to its relatively long half-life of 110 minutes. In this video, we introduce a fluorine-18 labeling procedure based on the isotopic exchange at the silicon atom of a CIFA compound. The CIFA group consists of a central silicon atom connected to two tertiary butyl groups, a derivatized phenyl moiety, and a non-radioactive fluorine atom. When attached to a biomolecule, the CIFA building blocks easily exchange fluorine-19 for radioactive fluorine-18 due to the low activation energy of the isotopic exchange reaction. The labeling precursor and fluorine-18 labeled compound are chemically identical, which makes purification very easy. The two tertiary butyl groups impart hydrolytic stability to the silicon fluoride bond, which is a critical feature for in vivo applications of CIFA conjugates. Finally, the phenyl moiety serves as a linker between the radionuclide and biologically active molecule, represented in this diagram by R. One must keep in mind that fluorine-18 is a radioactive isotope. Therefore, it is necessary to carry out all procedures behind adequate shielding. Lead shielding is most appropriate for this type of radiation. Be sure to wear radiation detection badges throughout the entirety of this procedure. Additionally, immediately dispose of gloves after the synthesis, as they may be contaminated with radioactivity. A significant number of small organic molecules have been labeled with fluorine-18. However, conventional organic chemistry usually requires harsh reaction conditions to incorporate fluorine-18 in these molecules. These conditions are often incompatible with delicate macromolecules, such as peptides and proteins. Therefore, novel methods of labeling these molecules are highly sought after. The main advantage of the CIFA technique is that it allows a complicated procedure to be done within one or two steps. So, fluorine-18 labeled radiopharmaceuticals may be synthesized with minimal training and experience. The implications of this technique extend to research groups that are interested in in vivo applications of experimental peptides and proteins. Begin by preconditioning a QMA set pack light cartridge with 0.5 molar potassium carbonate followed by deionized water. Then pass aqueous fluoride-18 anions through the preconditioned QMA cartridge. Discard the oxygen-18 water. Next, with a solution of cryptofix, 0.2 molar potassium oxalate, and acetonitrile, elute the fixed fluoride-18 anions from the QMA cartridge into a Wheaton vial. Place the vial in a mineral oil bath heated to 90 degrees Celsius on a hot plate. In the event that an oil bath is not available, an aluminum block may be used. Remove the solvents under a gentle vacuum in a sweep stream of argon. Add acetonitrile to remove any remaining traces of water by azeotropic coevaporation. Complete this step twice to ensure dryness. Once the solvents are visibly removed, stop the argon flow, set the vacuum to maximum, and dry for another two minutes. Finally, add acetonitrile to the dry residue to make a solution of highly reactive fluoride-18 anions with activity between 5 to 50 millicuries. 
This anion solution is used to label peptides and proteins alike. Peptides are relatively tolerant towards organic solvents as long as they are not heated to very high temperatures. Therefore, it is possible to label these compounds with fluorine 18 in one step. However, peptides must be modified with a CIFA group prior to labeling. This can be achieved following standard solid phase peptide synthesis. The resulting CIFA tagged peptide can be labeled with fluorine 18 under very mild conditions as follows.